Hey guys, it's me. I want to do a quick yes or no, and um, it's not going to be a long video. I'm just in between. I'm just waiting for my first client, and so um, I've already cleared. I'm a little early, so I wanted to do a uh, read for you guys just to see yes and no. So I want you to just clear your energies right now. Okay, I want you to close your eyes and think of your question, and I'm going to just pull some cards. <laughs> so let's get started. If you guys want to work with me, take a look down below. All my info is down below. I know it's not the best camera either, so let's see. All right, for my viewers, what is their answer to their question, please? Whoever's watching this, first question. Thank you. We've got a yes. Spirit is really bringing up with the Ten of Cups on the bottom and the Queen of Cups. I'm sorry, the lighting is not great with this camera. Um, but Spirit is really bringing up to bring in that spiritual love is to balance those emotions. So yes, if you work on transcending that emotional realm, work on bringing Spirit in, there is definitely a yes to your answer. So try not to get pulled into those lower vibes. Um, it's okay to feel the lower vibes, but just know the lower vibes are here to help you transcend into your greatest self. All right, let's start with question number two. What is going on for my viewers? So good to see you guys. What is going on for my viewers? Question number two, please. What do you have spirit for my viewers that are coming and viewing this for question number two? What? Thank you. Thank you for your question. Let's go. Okay, wow. We now have the King of Cups. So, if you are asking, I do with Twin Flames and High Level Soulmates. So, love, all about love. So, if it is, we have the King of Cups. That is definitely another yes. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups, walking away energy. So, there's going to have to be patience. And that's why, if you asked in the first one and it was a yes, you have to balance the emotions. Question number two is a yes. You have to learn how to walk away from things that don't serve you. Okay, there's a level of patience. We all know that patience is a virtue, especially on this path. Um, manifesting takes time, takes energy, takes perseverance, takes a good pure heart, right? That you're willing to get there, that this is the king of cups. So there is a definite yes about a divine counterpart that you're asking about. And if they're walking away from something, yeah, they're walking away from something. All right, question number three. Yes or no? What is going on? Question, oh, question number three for my viewers, Spirit. Question number three. What is going on with my viewers for question number three? If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. So what is going on with question number three? Sorry, it's my, my shaman ring. <laughs> What's going on with question number three? For the viewer, Spirit? Yeah. I felt it coming. Um, so we have the Page of Pentacles came out in reverse. So I'm going to say that's a no. Okay, there is something, there's pain here that has to be healed. So remember, rejection is protection. So if there is something that you're asking about, Spirit is like, there's a very painful situation that needs to be resolved first before there can be some type of uh, wish to come true. So this is a transcendent energy is what I'm feeling, a transformation energy in order to go deeper within yourself. So please find the good in what you are dealing with right now. Remember the darkness is your greatest teacher. If you're courageous enough to go through it and you're willing to look at yourself and if you need help with that then hit me up. We can, you know, you can come to one of my ceremonies or we can work one-on-one. -on -one. All right, let's go for number four. Question number four. Yes or no, spirit for pile number four. Yes or no for pile number four. What do you have for pile number four, please? Pile number four for my viewers. A little hesitancy is what I'm feeling. Ah, exactly. With the death in reverse, so hesitancy. Um, so it's like a maybe. It's like there is a hes hesitancy to transform and to move on to a brand new vibration. That's exactly what I was feeling. There's a little hesitancy there that was going on. So if you're feeling that hesitancy, spirit is like there's massive transformation 
I know when you move into new vibrations, it can get really, it's really scary. Uh, you don't know where you're going. You don't know what you're doing. Um, that really is fixing your faith muscles, right? Because in uh, you can move mountains with just a little bit of faith. So this is moving on to calmer waters. So you can move into a new direction, but it means that you're going to have to go through a massive transformation. And so that is like a maybe, like a yes, but it's the unknown for you right now. So spirit is like, you got to have to trust. You're going to have to trust. All right. Okay. Pile number five. Let's take a look. Pile five. What's going on for pile five viewers? I'm going to predict this one. I'm already feeling it's a yes, but I'll say the current thing. <laughs> what is going on for pile number five? Phew! What is going on for pile number five? Oh, I was wrong. It's not often that I'm wrong. We have some instability. We have the emperor in reverse. So letting go of control. Oh, yeah, so it is a yes. <laughs> That's funny, um, because it's about letting go of control that's causing the instability. So yes, it is going to be a yes if you let go of the control issues, if you allow things to be, and you surrender that to gain your stability, it will be a yes. So it's just a letting go of the situation at this moment. Okay, pile number six are we on? When I, when I edit this video, I'm gonna have to like go through it and see. Pile number six. Pile number six. What is the answer for pile? Should I do another prediction? <laughs> um, I'm going to say it's a no. We'll see. I don't want to call it out, though, but let's see what, what the creator has to say. Pile number six. Don't take my word for it. I'm just having fun. Well, no, it's a yes. Okay, so I was wrong there. I wasn't sure, right? Um, and yeah, it's like it kind of bothers me a little bit. I have to like be a little bit more humble because I'm usually not wrong. <laughs> okay, Marina, uh, let's just do it. Uh, you have to give to the situation. You have to put some effort in to get a new, your new start, and that is a yes. So it's not a no. It's a yes. It's it, you have to be able to give something. There is something that you have to surrender. Not even surrender. It's kind of like what is it that you're saying, spirit? It's like um, okay. So like bringing out like your workout regime. You know, like I know I'm supposed to wake up at five in the morning and work out and just get out of the way, and I love to sleep in. So <laughs> spirit is like. You kind of have to sacrifice your sleeping in to get what you want. So you got to give something to get what you want. So it is like a sacrifice, but it's like you already know what it is. It's kind of like, I know I'm supposed to get up at 5 a.m. and go work workout, so I just need to do it and just stop complaining about it and just move my ass. So it's kind of, it's like that, okay, that you need to, um, yeah, just stop the excuses and give to the situation, give your sacrifice to the divine and get started and it's an action oriented yes, then yes, your new beginning will start. All right. What is up? I love you guys. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for following me. It means the world to me. Yeah. Oh, my ring is falling off. A word on that because I'm committed to my path. <laughs> What is going on with pile number seven? Lucky seven. What do you got for seven, spirit? Yes or no? Think of, think of your question. Oh, we have a renewal coming. It's in the challenge position and another card flipped up. So we have the judgment in a challenge position. So you're on the brink of renewing something. So they're saying that it is a yes, but it's going to be a long drawn out yes. It's not going to happen very quickly. We have a seven of swords in reverse with the ending of a cycle on the bottom of the card with the world. So yeah, you're in transition. So is it a yes? It's like you got to get super honest with yourself. So it's like a process. It's a layered effect. It's, it's not going to be what you expected your yes to. That's what I'm getting. It's not going to be what you thought. So it's the transition is the challenge piece right now. We're going to do one more pile number eight. I feel like eight is a significant, it's a good number. That's also the day I was born. It's my favorite number because it's the eternity symbol. So let's see. Number eight. Born on the eighth. Let's see. Pile eight. 
Yes or no, Spirit? Pile eight. Yes or no? Last one. Yes or no? Pile eight, Spirit. We have the ten of swords. Oh. Well, I'm going to say that it's yes, even though it's been a very hard beginning. It can be a no. Okay, so Spirit is saying this can actually be a no if you don't want to rise out of this betrayal. If you stay in the betrayal, it's going to affect your physical world, your money, your stability, and what you're manifesting. So it depends on what your focus is on is what Spirit is saying. So it's a yes or a no. It is a yes because once you get over the betrayal, once you get over this healing process, there's nowhere else to go but up. That's the only way that you can go is up. So it's a positive thing, the Ten of Swords. It's like, it's a good thing, but it's also a bad thing. And you will gain your stability with this Queen of Pentacles. And you'll be able to, um, once you let this fall down, okay, you will gain that stability. You'll be courageous. You'll be able to follow your path. But it is once you have completed this healing process. All right, guys, let me know what you think about that. So much love if you want to work with me. I'm still booking for June, but June is closing up pretty quick. I don't think I'll be opening up readings until September. But I do do coaching sessions. I am able to sit with you in your dark and see things very clearly. So if you're having a lot of issues and you want to heal patterns or you want to come to ceremonies with me, hit me up. Okay, send me an email. I'm sending you so much love. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.